Welcome to another Scratch tutorial. This one is on using the keyboard buttons to uh, move a sprite around. And I'm going to warn you, this will involve math, 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 math. Yes. So here we go. First of all, I'm going to use these when space key is pressed, although we're going to be changing that. We're going to need four of them because we'll have four directions. Um, so instead of space keys, we're going to use the up arrow, the down arrow, the left arrow, and the right arrow. So here's the math. I've set up this coordinate grid here, um, and hopefully you can see how Scratch Cat here, if he wants to go up, the Y value is, will be changing, and the Y value will be getting positive. If Scratch Cat goes down, the Y value becomes negative and more negative. To the right, the X value becomes more positive. To the left, the X value becomes more negative. Basically, y, y is going up when you go up, Y goes down when you go down. X goes up when you go to the right, X goes down when you go to the left. So the up arrow refers to the Y. So in the motion, I'm going to say, change. Now, don't use set. If you set it, then you're setting exactly which horizontal line you're putting it on. So I'm going to do change y by 10. Now, 10 usually works pretty well. Um, if you use a bigger number, it goes faster. A smaller number, it goes slower. So you can play around with that, but I'm going to change y by 10. That's the up arrow. Its counterpart, the down arrow, will be the same thing, but what do you think? Yes, I'm going to make this a negative 10. So same idea, but a negative. Okay, so that will make it go down. In fact, you can even test that. Um, if I were to run it, you could test it going up, going down. Yes, isn't that exciting? So left arrow, now left arrow and right arrow, we're talking about the X. Both of them will be changing the X, but one of them will be positive, one of them will be negative. Which one's positive? <sighs> Yes, it is the right arrow would be positive, meaning the left arrow to make them go left would be negative. So hopefully this will help you with those math skills as well. So there we go. Now if I run it, up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, left arrow, and you can hold it down and they will move. And you can see how fast that is. Again, if I wanted to speed it up a little bit, I'll make this really big, like 40. Um, now... Yeah, it goes a lot faster. That's how fast he goes to the left. That's how fast he goes to the right. Really should be four times bigger. Um, in any case, I tend to like 10. So there you go. Hope the math didn't freak you off too much, and hope you learned something.